started to feel like that I'll be getting a good score in JE. Just before the two months of my JE exam, I got to know that I have a ACL ligament tear in my leg. That was really a low time for me. So I got to know about Polaris from my dad. I was very much fascinated about thing which is like five and five thousand hours of coding. Like even a single bug, if you will go to them, they'll teach you everything. So I landed the in the internship ending of my second semester. Like before my exam, I cracked the interview. Started my internship at 30k. So at the end of fifth month, I got an offer for extension of another six months. My stipend just got doubled. Myself Gautam and uh, I'm from Madhya Pradesh, Jabalpur. In my family, my both parents are teachers. So I used to <clears throat> be in the same school as uh, in the in which they teach. At starting, I was a decent student. I was not into much studies. I was like, just like playing in stuff, cricket and athletics, athleticism only. So I was in a two-year program in the in in the coaching of my hometown itself. In my hometown itself. In tenth, I got a decent grade. Like I got a actually I I got a good gra uh, grades like a 92 percent. And after that. I thought that I'll be going into coachings for JE exam preparation. So I took a two year program. Basically in first year it was very decent. Like I was studying normally like four to five hours a day. And it was like a decent uh, roadmap that every uh, JE aspirant follows. So I used to follow that only. And after some time, like basically I got more into it. Started to feel like that I'll be get getting a good uh, good uh, score in JE just before the two months of my JE exam. So basically, I I used to play cricket every day. So one day, what happened is I got injured. So initially, I thought it's a normal injury. So I didn't much uh, I didn't give much uh, uh, attention to it. But uh, after I got home, it got severe. And uh, basically, because of that, I got to know that I have a ACL ligament tear in my uh, leg. It needs an operation for that. Uh, I was not able to like figure out that what should I do at that situation. Because if I'll be getting an operation, it needs a six month of bed rest. And I can't afford that because my JE exam was uh, just after two months. During the phase of my injury, that was really a low time for me and my, for my family also. So basically I wanted to be an engineer because my family has a everyone engineer basically except my mom, she is a teacher. Having a family of full of engineers is like good. So my father was a uh, electrical engineer from the top, the topmost college of that time. So he got a full scholarship of that time. He was like a brilliant student and uh, he never came second in his life. So that was like one more thing that I used to listen every time uh, in my family that he used to get he used to get first at every in every class since the beginning. Basically, there was a direction like in which I have to go. So basically, I got to know that you have to do these much of things that you have to study this, you have to study this, you have to focus on this also. So my father is a physics teacher basically, and he used to tell me that you should study this because this has a high weightage in this kind of exams and you should study in depth. So basically I got a direction that I should go to studies, uh, go to engineering and stuff. This uh, tech school was also got recommended by my father that you can study in this direction. This is more trending and stuff. You can get successful easily and fast in this direction. Because of that, uh, having a family of full of engineers and full of teachers and so I got, I got easily uh, into this engineering. So I got to know about Polaris from my dad itself. I wanted to take a drop for one year. It will cause you one year and you, uh, you will be only going into one thing. Within that year, you can grow up many skills that will be helping you in future. And one year is a very big amount of time that, that can basically decide what you have to do in future or not. Because that one year is very a big amount of time. So he started exploring uh, colleges in YouTube and basically he came to a YouTube video about a tech school which is Polaris. So he was very fascinated about the curriculum and stuff. So he started uh, uh, communicating with the faculties and he started giving that curriculum to his different colleagues which are 
into tech roles uh, and uh, basically he was very much fascinated about one uh, one thing which is like 5 and 5000 hours of coding so he was like it is a good thing and uh, so because of that he explored more i got an interview i gave the pat test he registered my, registered me over there and uh, because of that i came up here like i also got i also researched about this college and i also felt like that uh, i can do good in this college i can i can be a better techie so yeah when i first came it was like a really scary part that how should everything go because that, that was the first time that i was leaving my family and going to some different places and uh, living there that was a really hard time that time and I, that was very much uncertainty about everything that all will happen but uh, after some time after time being i got to know that we have a decent teachers we have a nice mentors that helps us and everything like even a single bug if you will go to them they'll teach you everything so basically there is no doubt while learning if you are having a doubt and you are not able to solve them that will cause a hole in your learning there was there were no doubts in me that what should i do so basically everything was clear after at, after a while i was uh, in the polaris so after one first semester first semester was very decent like uh, the first day that the things that students learn in third year about github so i the first day and first class of polaris was about github i told my uh, seniors the techie seniors the my father's colleagues so i told them that we have a, we had a github class today so they were like amazed that how like basically in first class how they are teaching github and why they are teaching it up so i thought so i was I, so i was like so uh, i was like happy because uh, i i studied the thing that they are studying in third year in the first class of my polaris so that was really fascinating and i got a little confident after that and after first semester i got a decent cgpa and after that uh, i started doing open source and stuff so basically the journey begins from a fearful state to a normal so i landed the in the internship at tectonic at the ending of my second semester like before my exam i cracked the interview of that before that i also applied for internship in different company but i couldn't get that so i applied again for the tectonic and uh, i got selected in that i got the internship at first year's second semester at the ending of my semester exams like before exam i got an interview i got selected and i gave exam and then, then i joined tectonic after that so initially internship dur duration was like for 6 months initial in the initial phase it was like very smooth basically we were learning that how to work in that company and how what are the tech stacks what are the fields that they are working what they do and what we have to do so at initial phase it was like for one month no for, for half a month it was like just learning things it is in tour building e-commerce platform so they work alongside with shopify and uh, they build store for, uh, stores from their apis and they optimize those stores with their own Uh, own tech and uh, basically th that will increase your productivity in things like there are some tech things like RPS revenue per sessions and these kind of things project building things were the main things that Polaris focus on like uh, you have to work collaboratively with your colleagues and you have to focus on projects and that is what you will be needing in your resumes because it's very hard to as because you are a freshie you are not a freshie you are a first year student and you you are doing the internship in like a great good company so it is very hard for you to get an internship in your first year itself because uh, because they also don't want a newbie to be in their company that they also don't want to teach them for example if it is an internship for 6 months they, they don't want to teach you for 3 months or 2 months but they wanted you to start working immediately they wanted you to start working with a less training and things so for that you have to be much more more like you have to be more prepared for that thing you have to be more prepared for everything before going to an internship so polaris helped me for building uh, much bigger projects and all I, they helped me to build my resume they helped me to 
bring my confidence day because every week we have at least two or three interviews every day for our from our college uh, teachers only so basically they build the build uh, your confidence about uh, giving an interview that helped a lot we were like decent in doing work and stuff because we were able to give every deliverables at time that what they say i we do at first month of the company we created they have a client called include so they, they that is their second most biggest client so we created that first at first we created that store itself so that was like a big thing to create and uh, basically after that we were used to work decently we built so much of stores we like it will be like 10 to 12 stores i have built and they are currently live tracking traffic of lakhs and all yeah so we were working decently we were working fine so we made we cleared every expectations of them so because of that it was like a very healthy thing between um, us and the managements like uh, me and the management that they know that i can do in future also so once it was the internship for 6 months so at the end of fifth month i got an offer for extension of another 6 months so they increased what i wanted was like uh, i don't want to be doing a sing- same thing for one year so because i am in currently in a learning phase so with the variety in which i should learn it should be more because i can i cannot do one thing for the whole year i was doing one thing for the 6 months i cannot continue that same thing for one more year, uh, for another 6 months so i uh, so they talked uh, they told us that that is not the same work that you will be doing you will be doing different work like more into a back end so that uh, motivated me and they increased our stipend also so the biggest reaction was like first time when i was getting internship i got selected that was the biggest reaction after that it was like smooth decent and the second biggest was like for the first the first month i got paid like that was also a uh, second biggest reaction firstly for extension they were like Uh, I told them. I didn't told them that I have. I will be extending. So I told them that this is the stipend that I am getting now from now. So they was like they were amazed that how how can he get like just double his stipend in for for next six months. So basically, my stipend just got doubled. So they were like amazed that how 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 can this be happen. I told them I should I do the another extension. So they were like it's totally up to you. they were very happy they told everyone in the family that he got extended he got extended and so basically they were very happy at that time basically i started uh, my internship at 30k uh, per month basically they gave they were giving 30k per month so firstly they came for 40k like after interview they were shifted to 30k and if you will be doing great then they will be increasing it to 40k now they have increased their stipend so basically it just got uh, doubled like for base now they'll be doing like base of 60k and per month you will be getting a 10k of increment according to your work that will what will you do what what kind of work are you doing and how are you doing you will be in getting increased uh, according to your work so for 6 month i earned like 2.5 and for next uh, i'll be earning more uh, into that like i really got get very confident once i started earning because uh, because of that uh, because of that like i can spend my own money so but the thing was like ki i don't want my parents to be like uh, that he is now spending his own money so i gave every part of my salary to them and if i want my money, if i want to spend money though i ask for them to just give me money because i don't want them to be feel like that he is earning his own now like i don't want them to be feel like that so i gave every part of my salary to them and i asked them for money to spend i bought uh, different gifts for my family also for that and uh, i bought my first phone with that also after the time of my je results like there were i was very clueless at that time and till now i get got the internship extension so many of things have been changed till now like for example first is my confidence 
like for example before that i was having confidence but not confident i'm not having confidence in this field like i can do it or not but now i am having a confidence in uh, this thing also the another thing is like uh, my routine so my routine was very messed up before but now i know that i have to manage everything for like for my company to my courses my college uh, my uh, my studies and uh, family also i have to manage everything so my routine changed uh, and the third thing should will be like a uh, money fact so the biggest thing that i have got in this phase is like self confidence i need to work on these uh, two things when i am moving forward one is soft skills and second is like consistency so basically i i want soft skills uh, because because uh, for nowadays if you are uh, communicating with someone you you have to be good in in communication and all and the second thing is like consistency because if if you are doing something consistently that will be much uh, having a much effect on future that's why